Silverstone, June 2006. Well, not for that guy. Stepping out of his superb Bentley Continental, Rick Parfit, the legendary singer-guitar player of the group Status Quo, along with Francis Rossi. Now, Rick Parfit is a motor racing enthusiast. The status quo numbers speak for themselves. More than 112 million records sold worldwide. More than 5,500 concerts. Including their participation as the opening act for the Live Aid Benefit concert in 1985. As well as the record for the most titles registered in the British hit parade. Clearly, Parfit is a rock and roll pillar. On this day, Parfit didn't just come to visit with Motors TV. So what's wrong with this is, you've got a constant radius, so it's the same level of steering. If you've got the same amount of steering, you can't possibly accelerate or decelerate. It's impossible at the limits of adhesion. At slow speed you can do it, but not at high speed. He was also on hand to get a driving lesson at the Silverstone Motorsport Academy, where a few very experienced instructors were waiting. The time to sign in, to sit in on the driver briefing, and listen very closely to the first bits of advice, and a driving gear to take on the most famous circuit in all of Great Britain. Well, almost, anyway. It's a great way to release any tensions, you know, and uh, it's especially with the way that you have to drive on the British, British roads now. Everything, you're squeezed tight and the cameras and the police. It's just lovely to get out on the track and, and nail it for uh, for an hour, you know. It uh, takes a lot of tension out and it's always enjoyable. Do you remember when you were first interested, where, when you were young maybe, uh, about motorsport? Oh yeah, from a very young age. Um, I mean, I go back uh, further than anybody needs to know really, uh, to the, well, the days of uh, Graham Hill and uh, and uh, Jim Clark and Sterling Moss and go right back to then uh, when motor racing was was really really dangerous sport and they were very brave men of course uh, nowadays it's a lot safer you know but it's also a lot faster um, but I've, I've always loved uh, Grand Prix all my life and I, I, I try to go to as many Grand Prix as I can but with the Quo uh, schedule it's um, it's sometimes very difficult to get there so maybe um, I've, I've, I've done two this year so far. Uh, no, I've done three this year. So maybe with a bit of luck, I get to see what maybe one more somewhere. Singer or guitar player is all fine, but now he has to get stuck in. He now installs himself into the Lotus Exige. And this isn't the first time Parfit has gotten a taste of real sports car driving. Early this year, he took part in a celebrity race in Bahrain during the running of the Formula One Grand Prix. <laughs> I may never see you again. 